G'day, today we're going to have a look at level 20 in the Emerald DLC of Train Valley 2. This one's called Roman Empire's Quest. We have 20 minutes, we have to avoid train crashes, and we can't destroy objects worth more than 5,000. So let's just try and destroy nothing. Hyper sensitive about that. Okay. We have two sets of workers here. They, this guy wants glass and slabs, and this guy wants slabs and plates. Now we must be here. We've got four seater trains yet, because we can see that second lot's divisible by five. So it's glass for him. I wonder why we've got two sets of sand side by side there. Uh, but where are our slabs coming from? So they're here. They want these guys. So they will cost us probably a little bit to, to get going. So let's get the glass started first. So we want the glass to go run down here and then run straight in for that guy. We've also got, sorry, this guy over here. There's a third guy who wants bricks. And so he also needs sand. So, I mean, we've got the option. So let's give these two guys two separate sets that they're gonna run sand to. This guy, we won't connect to anything uh, at this stage. But we've got a, a lot of um, trains. Seems like he's potentially just going to be sitting there doing nothing. Uh, and we're not going to be able to do anything because we don't have enough workers to otherwise move. Still have enough money. The question is, how does this guy get connected to anything? Obviously, he's a bit isolated that way. And through across to there. Is then a bridge? A bridge over here. So a bridge can get him up on that, so I assume that it would mean that we'd have to go up here and then all the way around hit that bridge. How much is that bridge costing us? 37,000. So he's a little bit of a way off because the first thing I assume we want him doing would be coal. Nothing else needs coal? No. So he's just basically a closed circuit of making electricity for everyone. Well, we may as well just shift these guys around while we've got them available. Both then need to get them up here. Now that's as many guys as they both need, <clears throat> excuse me, for the time being. So if we turn glass and make him come straight down this way, and then in there, and I suppose we want to get him to sort of like loop around and we can get him in there too and let's get these two guys connected so we need sort of a I guess like that because we don't need to send anything from these two into sand okay so next thing then well what we want to do is while they're going because they're quite slow so maybe that's why we've got two different ones to sort of cater to that Send that guy and we'll send this guy. And we'll just send both of them into glass for now. We do need glass for the last 15 of the was that building materials it's called. But we'll just worry about our two sets of 12. So we need another 10 after that. So there's going to be 25 glass that we need for building materials. We'll send him down. So that's our third guy for glass. And this guy over here becomes our first guy for bricks. moment too soon there. So we need 12. That's that's a 2, so that's 5 plus 4 is what, 9. And then the other 3 will just max out as they hit it. It's what I say 9, so if we wait till this guy hits another 3. 7. Okay, so that's our 12. 32 here, so we still can't shift this guy. He's doing. As this guy goes past, we can send some sand behind him. So it'll be 12. Which will just be the entirety of, of this first sand.
Now I'm gonna build the bridge just so that it's built. Everything else cost-wise, we'll worry about that in a second. But we'll start with that. The second lot of sand are gonna go to the glass. So once that guy passes there, we'll turn there. And this sand and then delivering the bricks and the glass should make us a, a sudden surge of money too. And we can also send guys back in here to start working on the uh, the extra sand that we need. So we need 25 more glass after here. We'll get guys on the move. May as well get that guy on the move back that way too. And then with 39,000, we'll see how close we are now. So we'll get him up and one more across and all the way down here. Now that is going to cost me 2,000. So that's the first 2,000 of my 5,000. And we will go sort of as direct into that guy as we can. And that means that we can start to send guys down here to do that. Now the only electricity that we need is actually going to be divisible by five. So sending these guys at four seaters, um, sort of just going to have that be an uneven number. It doesn't really matter. I mean, we've got, we've got time at the moment. We're just sort of building money and, uh, and trying to get this... I guess get our electricity ready to go. The problem is that when we want to get to this... I wonder how much it costs to destroy this guy, because if we say to go here, and then up, 2,000, and then down, we can whip around the outside here. Go sharp across there. down and that seems slightly faster I guess than having to send it all the way back up here and then around and in I'm not sure it's worth it though so we won't do it we'll just build our tunnel and cut straight through uh, for them to make their connection okay so that's two guys down that way we'll send a third we've got another train available did I send that I didn't even remember sending that I'll believe it but, uh, feels like I'm jumping the gun Well, while I can't sort of move anyone else because the bricks are taking up the rest of this, let's just send workers down here. Alright, there we go. So that's going to be the end of the bricks. Um, starting to build the money a bit. I think it's going to cost me, what, 25,000 to upgrade a train. We've got five, so I'd need 125,000 to upgrade all five at once is the safe way of doing upgrading so we're definitely not there yet so so far we've sent 20 guys to sand and we're gonna need 25 getting close We don't want to really buy the slabs until we're dealing in sets of um, like five set of trains, which we're actually going to be very close to here. You can see that these two guys are going to arrive and put us on. I think they're going to push us over. So we actually will be. Oh, it's only 20,000 too. Sorry, 25 would take us another level up. So let's start upgrading our trains. It does give us the option of six seaters, but there's no point that we're ever going to really need that many. Uh, let's get all of them going. Okay, and let's get this guy connected. Then we'll run him down here. Get him connected straight in there. Okay. Um, now this guy does need 12 slabs, so I suppose there was one last thing that did actually need a divisible by 6 in all of this. Go a little bit out. I made an awkward connection here. Well, it's not this that needs to go that way, it's just these guys. So 
We say run down and then around. So that's going to need electricity. Let's get our steel plates down here and started to get built. It doesn't. We do get fifteen for delivering these as a um, paying ten. So that's a nice. That's a tiny little urn, but it's an urn. Make sure that we can upgrade this guy too. Once we are, we have him arrive. Don't want to accidentally send a four seater while we're doing this. Uh, let's send this guy down and he'll arrive in there too. Give us that last five that we need. Skip over our four seater. That's 20. That's 25. So that's going to be all of them accounted for. When it comes to this tunnel, it's going to cost us 34,000 to tunnel through. We need to just make a tiny bit more. Or oh, this is all profit, I guess, at this point when these guys are through there. So then what we'll do is we'll send 25 guys this way. Uh, and again, let's just move workers up that way. Uh, actually, let's get these guys to go in here. We're going to need at least 15 guys in this section soon anyway. So let's get them down there. Okay, so we'll just pause there for a second and we'll build uh, our tunnel. And we'll run in there and connect that way and then just come I come slightly too close. Make myself a night, my own little nightmare here. Oh, that's a pain. Okay, so I should have gone one further back because this guy can easily connect to that. And there's no way he can connect to where I've put him. So let's That's gonna be destroying items, isn't it? Is that gonna count as destroying Objects. It's not destroying an object, right? It's, uh, it's tragically destroying my bank account, but not objects. Alright, so that's 15 in there. So we'll just quickly make 12 more by sending those guys up that way. Um, that's 20, so we'll get our 25. Got enough money again, so let's try that a second time. Let's zoom in over here so we don't destroy the wrong thing. 10,000 for that. Yeah, he was the missing link. In there, and then... There, okay. So, now what we can do is send 15 guys that way, and we will send our 15 hole that way. And I guess we'll find out how long this will burn for. So if it does go for 25, at least we're already ready that we've got 25 guys in there. So we need 12 slabs for him, then we need 25 slabs over here. Uh, while we're waiting again, let's get five of these guys up here. Then we're going to follow him up with 25 sand. All right, and here we go. So let's watch the speed of this. This is the speed of this. All right, so he's going. That's the exact same speed. Okay, so to get 25 of those, we're going to need 25 of those. But what we're going to do is we're going to get 15 first and we'll send them up this way. Um, one thing that I've done a bit weird here, I've blocked anyone else from coming and putting guys in there. So I've just that's what that messy little line's for. That's 10. 
I wanted... I guess that'll sort of eventually work out. So it was 12 there. Um... Okay, so that's going to be 15. He's got like 13 or so in there. What we'll do then is we're just going to quickly send um, some more guys down here. We'll go two lots of guys that way. And we'll start to send this up. As long as it fits. So 10 will fit at this point. I said we need 25. That'll go in and make that 18, and then this guy is just going to be the last sort of round number of that. I think it's going to be way less, but it'll be sort of like correct it to remaining 20 that we need. Okay, so what we'll do while this is going, we will send first five. Uh, I'll then send because we need 10 more guys and he's only got two, let's send just two guys from down this way. Okay, and there's 12, so we don't have to burn any over here. We can just sort of get our exact 12 out. Got a ton of money, so I really should start buying a few more trains here. So I don't think we want to make them larger than five. Okay, so what we've, what we've got there, we've now got. Let's work out what we've got going on here. So this guy's about to arrive. Wait for them to arrive before we worry about doing anything on this right hand side. Um, this guy's got thirteen. He's currently building. If we can get them down here, get that side of things started. And we need in total 25 down there. So let's go... By moving at least five of those guys, it means that the remaining 15 will actually all build, and they do seem a little bit slow, so I think a good thing to get that going. Alright, electricity is currently stopped. What we're going to do is we'll send these 15 guys up because the, the people are so close. Uh, no harm in getting these guys up and in position as fast as possible. Alright, with them through we'll send these guys down. We need 25 of these. And then we just need another 10 extra of these on top of that. As those guys go by, let's restock this. We'll put 10 more guys in here since that's what it can... Put 10. 10 will take it to 28. So we can put 15 more in and that will take us to 23. That guy gets past there. We'll send workers in here too. And then we'll send workers down here. So 15 more workers. That's the 15 there. Uh, that's the second. It's 13. the extra 10. Once they sort of push through, what we'll do is we'll send 10 more workers down here to the coal. Feeling we're going to need more coal here. We have a ridiculous amount of money too. So we currently have still 2,000 left in what we're allowed to spend here. So I am going to do this wonky little road. The reason I'm doing the 
this road is because it means that I can send stuff back. Um, I can get two different directions to this guy. So if I want to send this coal, they only need to share that part of road with anyone who, like, say, when I send these 15 building materials, um, they, like, can get out of the way of me needing to send more coal and keep our production moving. So I keep, speaking of keeping our production moving, we get these guys down here as quick as possible. And we'll send five more of this, or we can send ten more glass behind that. No harm in sending workers across to this to get that sort of uh, operating. Pause that for a second. Be correct where they're actually headed. I can send this guy behind them. Let's get that guy going too. Why not? Okay, so let's just quickly do a quick math on what we've got. So we've currently got, I can't see because that train's still sitting there, seven built. So we've got seven built there. We're going to need 15 in total there. So these five here are the 15 for him. So beyond that, we need 10 more. So we've got five of the glass that we need in total. We then need um, the five that this guy's currently making, which means we're going to need five more on top of that. So we'll get these guys down here. These guys moving that way. Uh, and let's get this guy just sending... We may as well send 10. He should have the second lot should make it after that's made. Arrive, rather. So those guys in there, they won't get in the way of these guys coming down here. That glass will now fit, so we can send this this way. Now we can send this guy down here to go complement that. Okay. So it would be nice to have a few more guys in here, I think. Uh, how close is that to 15? It's right on it. Okay, so what we'll quickly do is we'll just send... While we'll, this train's getting out of the way, we'll send two lots of trains down here. So I need one more lot of slabs down there too. But we'll get these guys moving just so that that can get um, started again. So this guy needs to go down here, then down that way, and then up. Through. And we'll send more workers past while that's taking place. We've got five minutes from here. I think we're looking pretty good. Especially if we can get rid of this really long distance move these guys need to do. Doesn't mean I need more slabs though. I've uh, undercounted how many slabs I was going to need. So, I was going to move the next set of slabs, but <clears throat> really what we need to do is get these steel plates down here. So that's the one thing, I guess, that needs uh, electricity. And so to keep the lights on. Uh, we'll get these guys down here, so we'll just go 10. Um, I don't need to wait, I can just buy another train. Let's go down here. These guys in here too. Luckily we've only got to wait for two, so it shouldn't be too big a stress. This um, return and that return are now completely out of each other's way as well. So I can start to send back these materials and these slabs and they're not going to bother each other.
let's speed things up a little bit. That guy going that way. And that guy going with him. As we get five there, we'll just check the time. We should be right to just sort of fly home. Done. Real time, good. Game time, ordinary. Funds, ordinary. Uh, but now that any uh, questions or comments, feel free to check them below. And until next time, catch you later. See ya.